Hey there, little explorers! Biku swinging through the jungle again, and today we're slithering into some serious coolness. It's time to meet the snake! Now, snakes might not be as cuddly as a teddy bear, although some people keep pet snakes, which is super neat, but they're fascinating creatures with unique features that will have you hissing with excitement. Unlike you and me, Biku, snakes don't have legs. Instead, they slither around on their long, muscular bodies. Imagine scooting everywhere on your belly, that's how snakes get around. But don't let that fool you, these legless wonders can move surprisingly fast, especially when they're chasing after a yummy lunch. So, how exactly do they slither so well? Snakes have special scales on their bellies that act like tiny grips, helping them move across all sorts of surfaces, from smooth rocks to rough dirt. It's like having built-in traction for slithering adventures. And speaking of adventures, snakes can even slither through water. Next time you're at the beach, keep an eye out for a sneaky snake taking a dip in the waves. But wait, there's more! Snakes don't have eyelids, be cool! That means their eyes are always open, even when they're sleeping. So how do they take a nap without getting tired eyes? They have a special transparent scale over each eye that acts like a built-in shield. Pretty cool, huh? And how do snakes eat without hands? That's a great question. Snakes have long, flexible jaws that can unhinge really wide, allowing them to swallow prey much bigger than their heads. Imagine eating a whole pizza in one bite. That's kind of like how snakes eat. But don't worry, they don't eat pizza, although maybe they'd like to try a slice. Snakes are carnivores, which means they eat other animals, like mice, frogs, and even other snakes. Calling all curious explorers. There are many different types of snakes, each with their own special features. Some snakes, like boa constrictors, squeeze their prey to death before swallowing it whole. Others, like rattlesnakes, have a rattle on their tail that they shake to warn predators to stay away. And some snakes, like cobras, can even spread their necks out into a hood when they feel threatened. Snakes are truly amazing creatures, but some people might be scared of them. Hey Biku, are you scared of snakes? There's no need to be afraid. Most snakes are more scared of us than we are of them. If you ever see a snake in the wild, the best thing to do is leave it alone and let it go on its slithery way. Snakes are an important part of the ecosystem, and they help control the population of rodents and other small animals. Here's how you can be a snake hero. Snakes face some challenges, like habitat loss and people being afraid of them. You can help by learning more about snakes and spreading the word that they're not scary, but important creatures. Maybe you can even draw a picture of your favorite snake or write a story about its adventures. Remember, even a small monkey like Biku can make a big difference for the amazing animals we share our planet with. And hey, before you slither off on your next jungle adventure, wait, maybe skip the slithering. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more wild encounters. We've got a whole world of creatures to discover together, each with their own fascinating story to tell. See you next time, little explorers! Did you know that baby snakes are called S-N-A-K-E-L-I-N-G-S? That's right! Just like baby monkeys are called monkeys and baby elephants are called elephants, baby snakes are called snakelings. They are born live, not hatched from eggs like some other reptiles, and are tiny versions of their parents. Some snake moms and dads even stick around to protect their little snakelings until they're old enough to take care of themselves. Isn't that neat? But being a snake isn't all about slithering and snacking, although snakes are pretty good at both. Snakes use their tongues to smell and taste the world around them. Their tongue flicks in and out, picking up tiny scent particles that help them find food and navigate their surroundings. It's like a super sniffer built right into their mouth. Sure, here is the continuation of the snake text in English. Calling all curious explorers. Snakes are amazing creatures, but they face some challenges too. Their habitat, forests, 
grasslands, and even deserts, is being affected by human activity. This makes it harder for them to find food and shelter. But the good news is, there are things we can do to help. We can support organizations that work to protect snakes and their homes. We can also reduce our own impact on the environment by recycling, conserving water, and using less energy. Every little bit helps. Here's how you can be a snake hero. Talk to your grown-ups about snake conservation. Learn more about snakes by reading books and watching documentaries. Support organizations that are working to protect snakes. Reduce your own impact on the environment. Together, we can make a difference for these amazing animals. Did you know? Snakes are the only vertebrates that have no eyelids. They sleep with their eyes open. Snakes are carnivores, which means they eat other animals. Their prey includes rodents, lizards, birds, and even other snakes. Some snakes, like constrictors, kill their prey by squeezing them tightly. Others, like vipers, are venomous and use their fangs to inject venom into their prey. Snakes can shed their skin several times a year. This helps them to grow and to get rid of parasites. Snakes are found on all continents except Antarctica. Snake babies. Snake babies are called snakelings. They are born live, which means they are not hatched from eggs. Snakelings are very small and helpless at birth, and they rely on their mothers for protection and food. Snake mothers do not stay with their babies for very long, but they do teach them some important survival skills, such as how to find food and how to avoid predators. Snakelings grow quickly, and they reach adult size in a few years. Snakes can live for many years, and some species have been known to live for over 20 years. Snake Conservation Snakes are an important part of the ecosystem, and they play a vital role in controlling rodent populations. However, snakes are facing a number of threats, including habitat loss, pollution, and persecution by humans. Habitat loss is one of the biggest threats to snakes. As human populations grow and expand, they are encroaching on snake habitat. This is forcing snakes to live in smaller and more isolated areas, which makes it harder for them to find food and shelter. Pollution is another major threat to snakes. Snakes are often exposed to pesticides and other toxins, which can make them sick and even kill them. Persecution by humans is also a growing problem for snakes. Many people are afraid of snakes, and they will kill them on sight. In some cases, Snakes are killed because they are seen as a threat to livestock or pets. There are a number of things that can be done to help conserve snakes. One important step is to protect snake habitat. This can be done by creating national parks and wildlife reserves, and by working with local communities to develop sustainable land use practices. Another important step is to reduce pollution. This can be done by supporting laws that regulate the use of pesticides and other harmful chemicals. Finally, it is important to educate people about the importance of snakes. This can be done through public awareness campaigns and educational programs. By working together, we can help to ensure that snakes survive for many generations to come. Here are some organizations that are working to conserve snakes. The Snake Conservation Society the World Wildlife Fund, the National Geographic Society, the Rainforest Alliance. You can learn more about these organizations and their work by visiting their websites. Together, we can make a difference for snakes. Remember, even a small monkey like Biku can make a big difference for the amazing animals we share our planet with. And hey, before you slither off on your next jungle adventure, wait, Maybe skip the slithering. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more wild encounters. We've got a whole world of creatures to discover together, each with their own fascinating story to tell. See you next time, little explorers.
Thank you.